what a step drill is, very common tool, creates all sorts of cool holes, but most importantly, creates perfect counter bores every single time. You'll find these in machine shops all over the place. Well, we're grinding one today, and I wanna talk about the setup and all the different equipment we're using to ensure that this tool comes out perfect. Right off the bat, wheel selection. I've got three tierlet wheels. Two of them are a D54 and one is a D64. Those are medium grit wheels. We're gonna use a 1A1 for our fluting, an 11V9 for the tip of our drill, and a 1V1 for some of the cutting edges on them. Those wheels are just the three we're gonna use. We're gonna have the 1A1 on one wheel pack. We're gonna put the 11V9 and the 1V1 on a separate wheel pack. And that's all we're gonna to need to make sure that we get this tool perfect. Now that we have our wheels selected to create this tool, we're gonna to go over to the external dresser and true our wheels and ensure that the angles on them are perfect so that we get everything we need according to our print. After we dress our wheels, we're gonna go over to our Hymer Comfort Dynamic Plus wheel balancer. And we're gonna ensure that our wheels are balanced properly. That's gonna give us wheel life, it's gonna increase the life of our spindle, and it's gonna also ensure that our tool comes out perfect. Balancing your wheels is incredibly important. Now, think about it. If you got a wheel spinning at like 6,000 to 10,000 RPM in your machine and it's wobbling a little bit, all that vibration is going directly into your bearings in that spindle and it's gonna end up destroying itself in a very short period of time. Now that our wheels are balanced, we're gonna go over to the Hymer Uno Micro Set. We're gonna get the exact measurements of my diameter of each wheel and its Z positioning so that when I go to my machine and do my programming and I program that wheel into the machine, I have exact measurements that's gonna make sure that my program matches what's actually set up in the machine. It's gonna make everything way easier and I'm gonna get a first article part that only might need some small adjustments to ensure that it's perfect. So today we're holding on to this tool with a Shunk hydraulic chuck and what's nice about that we can swap collets without changing the geometry of the chuck. Some other chuck styles have different size collets that actually change the geometry and the clearance so you don't hit anything. The shunk hydraulic chuck, you can change those collets and the shape of it's never gonna change. It also holds on with extreme rigidity and it makes it easy for my robot to load and unload. Since we're using the hydraulic chuck and I kinda have a shorter tool today, for the first operation, which is gonna peel out the pilot of my step drill, we're using the steady rest. And that's an automated process that holds up the tip of that tool so that as the wheel pressure comes down on it, I'm not getting a lot of deflection. So those were the necessary steps we took to ensure that we had a great tool at the end of our process. I hope you guys learned something. We got a lot more content for you guys, so make sure you like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.